Hey everybody, awesome at G here, and today we're going to be doing a look at Dungeon of Elements. Uh, this is a game by a company called Frog Dice that did a, uh, a Kickstarter to get this game made that actually succeeded. Um, so, I mean, you don't have to go to their Kickstarter to fund it or anything, but their game is out now. Um, I'm recording this video a little early, uh, so I'm running version 1.1.2. 1 .1 um, the game, it's... What is it? Saturday? Yeah, it's Saturday. The game doesn't come out until Tuesday, uh, but that's the day I'm going to release this video. And if you look in the uh, description below, you're going to find links to the developer's webpage, um, the lead developer's Twitter account. There's going to be a link to purchase as well as a, uh, a discount code that the developer gave me uh, so that for the first week of the game's release... Uh, so from Tuesday, I assume, until the following Monday, uh, you can use the discount code and get the game for 50% for off. So instead of being 20 bucks, it'll be 10 bucks. So if you enjoy the game and think it's pretty awesome like I do, uh, you can go and purchase it for 10 bucks in the first week. So get on it. Anyway, uh, let's get started. I'm going to be skipping. There's kind of some story going on here. It's, this is a puzzle game. Uh, for those of you who remember back in the day, uh, this is going to be very similar to Dr. Mario. Um, there's uh, enemies that you have to kill, and you're using alchemy stuff. I haven't really read the story myself, um, so I haven't followed along a real, a real lot, but I saw that it was just like Dr. Mario, and I'm like, okay, I love Dr. Mario. I've got to play this. This game is awesome. So I'm going to skip a lot of the tutorial, and uh, any story that we have, it's just going to be like, if you want to read it, you can just pause the video and read it. Well, it doesn't matter now what the color of the hair is. I can't hit the... that's too wide. That's normal. Eye color? Oh, neat. Purple, why not? Farmer, blacksmith, minstrel, urchin. I don't know what that is. Is that like a... Uh, I don't know. Let's go with a blacksmith. That sounds awesome. So there's a bunch of story here. If you want to read that, you can. I'm just going to go ahead and skip by it. And I'm going to go ahead and end the tutorial, I think. Uh, this teaches you basic uh, ways that the game actually works. But I'll just explain as I go along. So you've got uh, playing the highest available dungeon, so it's going to choose w one of these levels and whichever room you've unlocked. Uh, you've got a cauldron, which is for, uh, like, crafting. Uh, of course, the story you can go back and read again. Bestiary, so as you defeat enemies, they're going to be listed in here and you'll get some stats about them. Equipment. And achievements. So, let's get back into the game real quick, and I'll show you what it's like for those of you who don't know what Dr. Mario is. So if you want to read this, just go ahead and pause it real quick. But I would definitely suggest purchasing this game. So, the basic idea of the game is you've got these enemies down here, and you're dropped what look like pills. Um, and what you have to do to kill one of these enemies is to stack a similar color around them uh, four times. How do I pick that up again? I forgot the hotkey for that. F? M? Oh, there's a hotkey for picking that up, but I forgot what it was. <laughs> Alright. Now, normally in Dr. Mario, what you had to do is... The colors had to be all stacked up in a straight line. In this one, they just have to be touching, so I can literally do that and get these enemies out of the way. So you don't... You just control the pills with... Uh, the capsules, I'm sorry, with uh, your arrow keys. Up, down, left, right. Uh, everything makes sense except up rotates. Like that. So you can get your colors in the right order. This is one of the things I really uh, enjoy about the game, is you get these items that give you additional features. So if we go into my, in my uh, inventory... I've now got a dagger, which I can equip, and a shield, 
And if you look, uh, oh, slow down time. So this actually reduces the amount of time that the pills fall in. Uh, or you've got a dagger, which actually does damage to one of the enemies. So if you have an enemy tucked away into a corner that's really hard to get at with, uh, with pills, you can go ahead and attack him that way. But another feature I really enjoy is this, where because the, the pills don't actually have to touch everything, you can get a weird combination. Oh, it's L. L is the quick key for that. Um, you can get a quick combo with multiple enemies. So you'll see like six or seven enemies stacked up on each other, and you'll just drop one color in there and knock them all out. Oh, all this blue. I'm going to stack it down here, actually. So this guy down at the bottom is a boss character. I don't know exactly what the terminology is for that. Uh, but what, we're, what you have to do to... Well, right there. You have to make any color combination nearby him to deal him damage. And then after a certain amount of damage is obtained, he dies. As most good bosses do. Uh, where's a good place for this? Right here. We'll drop this one. Oops, I screwed that. There we go. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah, excellent. But yeah, I... Oh, that was so stupid. Anyway, I used to play Dr. Mario, like, religiously when I was a kid. So... Actually, getting another Dr. Mario-style game out there is awesome! I have not seen one of these since NES times. I know they made... I, I went and looked it up, and I know they made another one, I think, for the N64. But I never actually had an N64, so I never got to play it. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. That's alright. We'll actually get this guy from underneath that. Success! Ain't nobody got time for that. Did I get anything? I got leather boots. I don't know what those do. Speed reduction. Ah! Again, overall pill speed reduction. And I mean, right now it seems like the pill's going really slow because I'm forcing it to drop, but later on it starts going really fast. As you would expect. All right, so let's make some combinations here. And then I'll do a little bit of uh, information about, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, what was I gonna say? About crafting? But I don't really know any of the crafting recipes because they're all hidden. You kind of have to figure them out as you go along. And I don't really want to ruin that kind of fun for y'all. Uh, that's not exactly what I wanted to do, but it worked. So, let's do that. Hmm. I just dumped that one. There's also holes and stuff in the way that obviously by now you figured out it's going to screw you up from time to time. So let's do that. Drop you there. Oops! Damn it! Alright. I'll just do this. And drop that down and collapse that. Okay. So there's a lot of chain reactions you get in this that you didn't actually get in, in a Dr. Mario game. Uh, things just fall differently here. Which I think they fall better. They fall more like a Bejeweled style game would. Alright, so... But this is totally my style of game. I played this just because I got a uh, I got a new version. It kind of reset my character. But oops, <laughs> uh, I had a character for a while that was just massively leveled up. I have no idea how far I was, but there's there's some boss levels later on. I'm gonna try to get there uh, in this video. 
Just to give you an idea that some of the bosses later on are just like ridiculously hard. Uh, you you wouldn't think initially that that something like a puzzle game like this would be that difficult, but the the difficulty amps up pretty quick. All right, so I'm just gonna do that and kill that guy. Oops, I actually wanted to use that. Oh well. Just throw some of this stuff away that's in my way. So catch on some of these is you have to get them from underneath. But to do that, you have to stack pills up there. But you don't want to make a row of four until you get to the enemy. Otherwise, it doesn't serve its purpose. Sweet! There's the blue I need. Can I... Oh, I can't use my weapon yet. Hmm. Oh, I didn't see that green guy. Well, I guess that worked. <laughs> I can't rotate, damn it. Oh, I still can't rotate. I gotta get it to where it's... There we go, like this. Oh, it still rotates the wrong way. Okay, so I'm gonna have to weapon that guy, I think. Either that, or I might be able to stack up to him. Let's do... Oops, that's not what I wanted. Let's do that. Just clear that out. There we go. Damn it. Come on, Matt. You're better than this. Stop making stupid mistakes. So I just need one green to kill this guy with. Oh, I'm not going to get it. It's not stacked correctly. Okay. I can't get anything up in that hole. Well, maybe I can. I'm just going to have to do this weird... I don't know why I'm stacking stuff like this. I can just dump it down the hole. Here we go. There we go. Let's do that. It's not really what I wanted to do, but it works. Oh, I cannot get a piece in there quick enough. Here we go. Alright. So now I should be able to... Yeah! Success! A wooden shield is a bonus. And I think I got some ring mail. I totally did. Alright. Oh, I still have wooden shields. So then you can sell these items. You get triads, which are the gold, I guess, of the game. And then eventually this dude shows up and he wants to trade you something. And... For money. And you get this really awesome set of, like, options from him. So we're going to try for that. Clear that out. <laughs> well, I guess I could do this. There we go. Sometimes I find myself stopping and being like, ugh, what do I do here? Because I just instantly don't see something. Oh, that was dumb. I'll put it over here instead. But eventually, I'll catch on and I'll start getting better over time. This is definitely one of those games where, while skill is involved, there's a little bit of luck, too. Just because you're going to miss stuff. Man, I am tearing this one up. That one was hard to see because of that sun object there. Let me get my mouse out of the way. Uh, let's do that. Blue, huh? I forgot there were blue guys in here. The only other feature I see in this that doesn't appear in Dr. Mario that adds an extra air of difficulty is, uh... Like in Dr. Mario, if you defeated a certain color of enemy the pills of that color would stop. And this one does not do that, so <laughs> the colors keep coming. So towards the end, you'll start running into, like, you'll have one orange character left, and the game just constantly giving you, like, green pieces. You're like, oh, I don't want this. Give me something useful. Alright. Stack all that up there. 
Hey, this will be awesome. Sit right there. Throw another orange in there. I want to see if I can get to a ball. Oh, that dropped the blue. That was dumb. I want to see if I can get another, like, a real boss battle that's actually complicated. So y'all can see what that's like. Did I get anything? Ring mail, leather, and a wooden sh shield. I already have better than all of that. I'll just sell all of that stuff and move on. Okay. Hopefully I can knock this out pretty quick. Nope, that needs to be the other way. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. It's not what I wanted, but it'll work. Oh, hey, there's gold there. I should pick that up. You think? There's that. Let's get this guy out of the way. Sweet, I killed a hundred dudes. One hundred mans. What game was that that would say you have one mans left? I'm sure there was not just one game that did that, but... There's a well-known one that did that. Oh well, I'll look it up later. <laughs> there we go, that's better. Stick that right there. Kill that dude. And stack that like that. Because this. that. Uh, white. Hey, that'll work. Get out of the way. Mission complete. Ah, here's a boss. Okay. So this guy actually takes a lot of damage. So I'll show you kind of what we mean about stacking colors around him. We? Who else is here? Um to defeat it. And it'll make sense once you see it. It's just, at first, you're like, what? Mm. Uh, I guess. No, I don't want to do that. Let's drop that out. Yep, that's useless right now. I'll just do this for now. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That's all right, I can do that. Get rid of those. Hmm. Let's do that. There we go. Excellent. Bam! Alright. We're getting close. It won't be long now, sir. All these other colors I don't want over there. So that actually ended up doing some damage to him, because that was a connecting color there. That probably did some decent damage as well. Oh, stop it with these. I don't think this one will actually injure him. But this one should. And we'll start stacking some white around this guy. Because I can injure him with that. There we go. So that dude's dead. So that's really all you have to do to kill a boss. Is just start stacking the colors around there. Defeat! What's this? 
Traveling salesman approaches you. Okay, this is the guy I was talking about. He, you need 100 triads to actually trade with the dude. So let's decline his offer for now. Leather armor. Oh, that looks awesome. And a rod. What does that get me? One damage, 110 cooldown. This is... One damage, 110 cooldown. So they're the same, basically. The rod looks cooler for now, though. Eventually, this new symbol will go away. Or not. Anyway, so I have 53. I am not going to be able to trade with that dude. So we're just going to skip it. And I'll show you what uh, it continues on to be. So here's more story. Now we've got little goblins, I think? That's what these guys are. It's kind of hard to see in this camera angle. They look like goblins to me. Hmm. Maybe I can do this. Let's see what that accomplishes. That'll work. Oh, bummer. I don't have a place to put that. We'll do that. It'll make it easier to get rid of later. Maybe. Yeah, here we go. Well, shoot. They're not making this easy. Here we go. Get rid of all of that. Aha! Uh, we'll do this. There we go. Get that guy tied up in there in that corner. That was going to be a challenge. But not anymore. Drop that right there. And we'll do that again. Success. There we go. Not too bad. I think this will be an easy one. This music is catchy. problem? Excellent. Do that, and we'll get rid of this guy too. Later on, you also get pets, which uh, kind of prevents you from needing to uh, actually go pick up your loot. Your pet will auto-loot it. Uh, kind of gets a little throws me off every time because by that point in the game I'm actually used to just spamming L when I see gold on the ground and then I get to the point where I don't have to do that anymore and it takes me a while before I just let my pet start doing it almost done rod and some essence I'll just skip the shop for now. Nothing important in now. Hmm. Just drop that there for now. I can get that to connect up here. Like this. Success! Uh, there's nobody I can really connect that to. Not easily, at least. Bam. Uh, we'll do this. Oh, well, I guess that worked. And that'll take care of all of those guys. Hmm. 
Oops. <laughs> oh, that was not what I had intended. That's alright. Here we go, we'll do this. Oh, I can't do it now. Maybe I can. Yes, okay. So now I can do that. Success. Eat that. Blue. Just do this. Eventually, I will kill all of these fools. Actually, I can do that. Excellent. Giant, like, L-shaped thing going on there. Face. Get out of here. I think it's a fly. Oops! Damn it! You were distracting me, fly. Alright. I'm all about the chain reactions. Uh, I got nothing for this. Uh, I don't have anything for this either. Just put that there for now. Well, bummer. Here, I'll do this. Get rid of that guy. That'll make this a little easier. Sweet. Ooh, a short sword. Hell yeah, let's check that out. Short sword does what? Well, it's about the same, but now short sword looks awesome. We'll sell all of this stuff. Now, see, now I have enough to actually go to the dude. So, in in the crafting area, the cauldron, uh, this is where you can actually combine stuff. I've never done anything other than these essences, but you have to select two of a particular kind. And then it'll make like a fire boomer? What this does? I don't really know. But it'll actually teach you these. So if you go water and fire, failed to craft. But the next time I try to combine water and fire, it's going to say, hey, you've done this already and it failed. Are you sure you want to do this again? So yeah, now I've got those. Whatever that does. I don't know. I think I have to put them in here, actually. I don't know. So anyway, uh, that's this game, basically. In a nutshell. And it is awesome. So, go check out the, uh, the link in the description to go purchase the game. Go over there, buy a copy. It's awesome. Use my little uh, discount code. Get it for half off this week. And you'll be set. So, he's also got a Steam Greenlight page, so you can get this thing on Steam. So, go check that out, vote for it on Steam as well, because this... I don't know, I just... I can't stop playing this. I'm going to end up finish the, finishing this recording and then playing this for like two more hours today. Even though I need to edit videos. But I don't care. It's awesome. So, alright. Thanks for watching, and we'll see y'all later. Wait. Oh, damn it.
do this. Whatever. Sweet. Ooh, silken shoes. Speed reduction one, cell value one. No, I'd rather have those. Sorry. Cell. More of that. Oops. That'll work. Boots. What am I wearing? I am wearing male boots. Ha! <laughs> Just kidding. Oh yeah. Hmm. I don't know what that does. Next capsule is that. Hmm. Okay. What does this do? Oh, it just gives me a capsule of that color. Well, that's useful, though. Sometimes you really want a capsule of that color. Oh. Backwards. Sorry. Do that. Hmm. 
Go away, you. You're gonna be a problem maker later. Oh, 